question number six from M1, January 2019, IAL paper, Mechanics 1. Um, a train travels for a total of 270 seconds um, along a straight horizontal track between two stations A and B. The train starts at rest from rest at A and moves with constant acceleration for 60 seconds until it reaches a speed of V meters per second. The train then travels at this constant speed V meters per second before it moves with a constant deceleration for 30 seconds coming to rest at B. Sketch below a speed time graph for the journey of the train between the two stations A and B. Okay, so here we're told that it starts from rests. Okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to draw a pair of axes, I'm going to have velocity. against time so velocity against time okay this is in meters per second this is in seconds okay it starts from rest at a so like that's where it is at a it starts at re from rest so it's zero zero okay it moves with constant acceleration for 60 seconds until it reaches the speed of v so let's just say this is 60 seconds Constant acceleration means that it's going to be a straight line, okay, with a positive gradient. Velocity, velocity is increasing in a, in a constant fashion, all right, and it reaches a speed which we don't know. We're going to call it v, okay. We don't know what that speed is, okay. Then it says. The train then travels at this constant speed, v meters per second, before it moves with constant deceleration. So we don't know how long for, but for there's a certain time for which it's traveling at this constant speed of v meters per second. And then it moves with constant deceleration for 30 seconds, coming to rest at b. Okay, so the deceleration in the second part is going to be, of course, more pronounced. It's going to be a steeper line, but of course deceleration is going to be a negative gradient until it comes to rest. Okay, so we know that this distance this, this is 60, then there's a certain time for which it's moving. Let me just put some little lines here. Okay, so we know that 60 seconds Okay, it's been moving a constant acceleration until it reaches the speed of V. And then that last 30 seconds, so that, that, just, that is 30 seconds. So let me call this time, um, the time that it's moved for constant velocity, let's call that time, say, T. Okay, let's call it capital T. Okay, the time between here and here. Okay, I'm going to call that T. Okay, so this time is going to be t plus 60. Okay, and this time is going to be t plus 90 because it's going for 30 seconds here. All right, so just to have that there. Um, it says, given that the distance between the two stations is 4.5 kilometers, find the value of v. Okay, so uh, we know that it's traveled a total distance of 4.5 kilometers. Okay, this is in meters per second. So 4.5 kilometers is 4,500 meters, okay? And let's see what other information they told us. They've told us, okay, so we know the total time is 270 seconds. I didn't see that in the beginning. That's 270 seconds, the total time. Okay, the total time. So that's fine, we, we can work out what we need to. Okay, I know that from here to here is 60 seconds, and from here to here is 30 seconds. Okay, that's 90 seconds. That means this time here must be 180 seconds. Okay, so that's 60, that's 30. All right, the total must be 270. So this, this missing part here must be 180 seconds. So we can actually fill in all these blanks here now, if you want. Okay, so we use the fact that they gave us the total time. So this T plus 90 is 270. And this is 240. Okay? 
All right, so we've worked out everything we need now. Okay, so we know that the total distance in speed time graph is given by the area under the graph. So the area of this shape is it's a trapezium. Okay, so the area under the graph, okay, the area under the graph is given by the distance between the parallel sides, okay, which is V divided by 2. Okay, so it's, it's, remember it's the distance between the parallel sides over 2 times the sum of the parallel sides that gives you the area of a trapezium. So the distance between the parallel sides here is V, okay, and times the sum of the parallel sides, well, from there to there is 270, plus, and from here to there is 180. And I know that that's equal to 4,500, okay, and that will give me my answer in meters. So if I add these together, 270 plus 180, it's going to be 360. Okay, 360 divided by 2 is going to be 180. So you'll have 180 equals 4,500. 4, so 270 plus 180, oh, sorry, 450. 450 divided by 2 gives you 225. So you have 225, V equals 4,500. So V is equal to 4,500 divided by 225. So 4,500 divided by our last answer, that gives you 20. So V is equal to 20. So I know that this is 20 now. Okay, so there we have the answer. So now I can write this as 20. Okay, now part C. It says, find how long it takes the train to travel from station A to the point that is exactly halfway between the two stations. Okay, so I'll do that on the next page. Okay, let me just take this graph with me. So we're now answering part C. Take this graph with me so we can see what's going on. And I'll actually take the question part C with me as well. Okay. Okay. So find how long it takes for the train to travel from station A to the point that is exactly halfway between the two stations. Okay, now, halfway between the two stations, okay, let's just say that's the point over there. Okay, it's going to be the point, it's going to be the time, okay, which this area is divided into two equal halves. And we know that the area is 4,500, okay, under this curve. So we need to find 4,500 divided by 2, okay, 4,500 divided by 2, 2,250. So we need to find when this area here is 2,250, okay, that's when this is split into two equal halves, the area, and then we need to find the time for that to occur. Okay, so basically, um, it's a similar kind of situation. We know, this time we know what V is, we've got to find what this T is. So you've got this trapezium that looks like this. We're looking, only looking at this part of the trapezium. Okay, and we know that the vertical height is 20. Okay, so you have 20 over 2 times the sum of the parallel sides. Well, the, this side here, okay, we don't know what this value is here. Okay, let's call this value, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's call this point here 60 plus x, and let's call this distance here x. So you're going to have the sum of the parallel sides are x plus 60 plus x. We know the time up to there is 60, and that's like x more than 60. Okay, so that's the sum of the parallel sides. That's the distance between the parallel sides divided by 2, and that has to have an area of 2250 
What we don't know now is the x which we're going to add to 60 to find our final answer. Okay, we know the time that we're looking for is 60 plus x. So this is going to give you 10 times 2x plus 60 equals 2,250. If you divide both sides by 10, you're going to have 2x equals 225 minus 60 and then that divided by 2. Okay, so you have 225 minus 60, 165 and 165 divided by 2, which is going to be 82.5. Okay, that's 82.5. So therefore, the time that we're looking for is 60 plus 82.5, which is 140.5. Okay, so you add, add 60 to the answer which is 142.5. That's the time for it to reach halfway between the two stations. That's part C. Okay, and then it says part D. <clears throat> Let me take this question as well. Okay, the train is traveling at a quarter V meters per second at the times T1 and T2 seconds after leaving the station. Find the value of T1 and the value of T2. So there's a certain time when this is traveling. Let me just take this diagram again from here so it's not. Okay, there we are. Okay, so there's a time, the train is traveling at a quarter V meters per second at time T1 and T2. So you could say like at this time here and at this time here, okay, let's say this is T1 and here we have T2. Okay, that's when it's traveling at those speeds okay all right um, find the value of t1 and the value of t2 so this is a quarter v now we know a quarter v is a quarter of 20 which is five okay so that's it's traveling at five meters per second okay um, at those two times okay so we've got to try to figure out what that value of t1 and t2 is well, I'm guessing we could use some sort of similarity here between this triangle and that triangle. Okay, because these two will be similar triangles. Okay, so I can use um, similarity here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so if we draw a triangle, you see you've got a little triangle. Let me just do it using this. You've got a small triangle, which looks like this. And then you've got a triangle that's similar to it, but bigger. It looks something like that. Okay, so here's the beginning point. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> here's the beginning point, here's T1. And at this point, okay, um, this is for the small one, we know that that speed is this five. So, so that side is five. Let me just do it by the sides of the triangles better. Okay, so I know that that, that side is T1. Okay, that's that distance there. And this is five. Okay, so that's zero to T1, and that's from here to there, five. And for the big triangle, okay, you've got from zero to 60, so that's 60. And this is 20. So we can use similarity here. I know that T1 over 60 will give me the same ratio as a five over 20. So T1 is going to be five over 20, which is a quarter times 60 okay which makes sense so you can see it's going to be a quarter of 
uh, 60, a quarter of 60 is 15. So it's 15 seconds. All right. And then for the second part, we can use the same kind of, um, you, you know that this, this, this time is going to be a quarter, okay, of that total time. If that height is a quarter of that height, that time is a quarter of that time. We don't actually have to show the similar triangles, it's, it's just um, proportion, but just for the sake of your understanding, that that's the reason why we're doing this. Okay, so we can see here that this, this time here, this time here is a quarter of that total time. So the total time between 240 and 270 is 30 seconds. Okay, so we're going to have a quarter times 30. Okay, and a quarter times 30, 30 divided by 4, gives us 7.5. Okay, so that distance is 7.5. Okay, between 270 and here. So this is going to be 30 minus 7.5. So you can say it's 3 quarters times 30 even, no problem. Okay, but 30 minus 7.5 gives us 22.5. So it's 240 plus 22.5, which gives you 260.5 seconds. So T1 is 15 seconds, and T2 is 260.5 seconds. Okay, because basically they're similar triangles in these sections that's how you can work it out okay because there's a constant acceleration <clears throat> so the time and the speed will be proportional in that way and there we have i think answered the whole of that question yep okay